Hello everybody, it's Sarah and today after a couple of weeks I'm here again with this week's Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey from Ginger Eats Lainey and the host is now Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I will leave the links to both of their channels as well as the Good Eats group of Top 5 Wednesday in the description box down below so you can go and check those out. This week's topic is our non-canon ships, our favorite non-canon ships. First, I have an honorary mention, and this is an honorary mention because the series is not yet finished and I have a feeling that we have a really big chance that this ship could become canon, <laughs> and that is Kaladin and Shallon from the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson. They only meet in the second book, Words of Radiance, but I just love all their interactions and they're so great together and oh, I just want this to happen. Now I have my entries, I guess I could say, for this week's Top 5 Wednesday. I am kind of going from those that I kind of just ship a little bit to those I ship a bit more. First, I'm not sure if I am the only one, but I kind of ship Will and Magnus just a little bit in the Infernal Devices series. I, I just kind of... I don't know, really like the two of them and really like the way they interact with each other and yeah, it's just, it's not a full-on ship really, it's just like fantasies, I guess. Next, and I know that this ship is a bit problematic because potentially these two people are related but I kind of ship Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen. Kind of. I, I would really love it. I already shipped the two of them before I had any theories as to who Jon Snow's mother is and everything. So I didn't know about that whole part. And so that's still kind of a leftover and I already shipped them before he met Ygritte. And that's why I kind of... Yeah wasn't too much into that ship. I feel like I can't really ship them anymore as a couple, but I still really want them to meet. Just, that's like, that's the meeting that I'm looking forward to before any other meeting. I want Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen to meet. So next I have a kind of TV show ship. And that is a very common ship. It's like one of the most common ships I feel that is out there. And that is Destiel, which is Dean and Castiel from Supernatural. And it's ridiculous that it hasn't happened already. It's just ridiculous. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Next I have Nihal and Illusi from Nihal from the Land of the Wind by Licia Troisi. And Illusi is a very minor character. She only appears in a couple of chapters in the first book of the Chronicles of the Emerged World, but I just love the relationship so much. It just, there was so much sexual tension between them. And I would just have thought that it would be so, so, so great if they had gotten together. Or even just, like, had an affair or something. <sighs> yeah, I'm really sad that this happened. I'm heartbroken. Actually, this is one of my oldest chips, probably, because I read this book when I was 12. And I wanted this to happen so badly. And the last ship is quite a new one. It's only from August of this year. And that is Ori and Quoth from The Kingkiller Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. And I'm holding up this little additional story, The Slow Regard of Silent Things, because this is the book that really made me ship those two characters. I think they would fit so perfectly to each other because Quoth can just let Ori be and and Ori knows what Quoth needs and and she kind of loves him already and oh, can this please happen? Can Quoth just leave Denna alone and just realize what an 
awesome person Ori is. That is it for all my favorite non-canon ships. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you ship any of those characters. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. All the links to my social media are also in the description box down below, so you can go and check those out and friend me or follow me. And I hope I'll see you soon. Bye!